Welcome to Solid Camp Professor. I'm Sydney, your Solid Camp Professor, and in this session we'll be doing part two of our lesson on drill machining. In my previous lesson, we drilled out these M3 holes, and now what I'd like to do is I'd like to work on these holes over here, which as you can see is a is a counterbore hole that we have to do this with two different diameters. So we'll start my operation and I'll choose the option of drilling and then I'll go into my geometry area. Now I'd like to pick these four holes. So I can click on each one of these surfaces or I can use a different option called all circles and arcs and then do a filter and instead of all circles choose by radius click on by radius and choose that particular radius over there, that hole over there. And now when I click on all circle and center on this button over here, it'll automatically find me those holes on my geometry, on my part itself. And I'll simply accept that. Now the tool that I will be using will be the center drill. And I'll select my spot drill which I've changed it actually to an 8 millimeter diameter so it can cover the diameter of the hole that we have over there. I'll simply say select. Now my levels, my upper level in this case is this surface over there. My drill depth will be also this surface but I want the tool diameter and if I don't know the value of the hole, I can simply go diameter value and click on that diameter itself. And that value will go in here automatically. Now I can choose my diameter value from the circle itself on the part, from the radius itself. And that value will automatically be put into here. I'll put it at 7.3 millimeters, giving a... 0.15 chamfer on the edge over here itself. My technology area, I'll use a simple drill cycle type of drilling and save and calculate. Now in my next operation, I'd like to actually go down with the 7 millimeter drill that I need for here to go down to this surface as you see over here, but I want to have the tip of the drill go a little further down causing a chamfer on this hole over there which does not exist yet. So I'll simply do save and copy. I'll change my tool to my 7 millimeter drill simply by going into tool and selecting my 7 millimeter drill. The levels, my upper level will be exactly the way it was before but my drill depth this time will be up until this surface over here as shown here. And I'll use the diameter value of that circle over there to get the proper value that I need for the next hole. Simply do save and calculate and now if we take a look at our simulation you'll see that by using the solid verify my tool will go down into each one of those areas and drill out exactly to where it has to go allowing me to actually go in with the next drill to the proper surface and that will leave the proper depth for that hole over there. You'll also note that this area now has a chamfer on that hole from the original spot drill that I did on that hole itself. Next I'd like to go in with a 4 millimeter drill to finish up this hole itself. Again I'll do save and copy and this time in my tool area I would choose the 4 millimeter drill. My levels, my upper level this time will be the surface inside over here and my drill depth will be to the bottom of the part itself and what I'll do over here is I'll say full diameter having my full diameter going past the bottom of the part itself I can go now into my technology area change it to PEC and say giving a data of a step down of every four millimeters simply say OK and save and calculate. Now when I do the simulation you'll see that the, the drill will go all the way drilling out 
to the very, very bottom. The only thing I have left to do now is just to flatten out that area. So I'll go into my next operation by doing save and copy. And this time I'll choose a 7 millimeter flat drill. And I'll create that by simply taking this drill over here and copying it and giving it an angle of 180 degrees. Simply say select and my levels, my upper level will be this surface there. My drill depth will be up until the floor over here itself. And I'll do now simply save and calculate. Now if you take a look at the simulation and I'll use the solid verify simulation again, you'll see that the drill will go down, drill that area out, and you can see that it goes down exactly to the level that we need it to, giving us a really nice finish on the inside as well. This concludes part two of our lessons of drill machining. Thank you for joining us on SolidCam Professor. Take care and have a nice day.